our scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, <coughs> to the 1st to the 7th verse. We then as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watching and fasting, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. And Father, we come before you once again, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless all the week, Father. And Father, we thank you for watching over us and keeping us all night long and waking us up to see another day, Father. And Heavenly Father, we just ask you to bless the every and every one of you, Heavenly Father, that was able to come out this morning to bless those who didn't, couldn't come out this morning, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we just ask you to bless the, the, the service this morning. The other things are just there, Heavenly Father. And Lord, Anoint us, Heavenly Father, one by one, Heavenly Father. And Father, we just ask you to bless the best, Heavenly Father. Thank you from the top of his head to the bottom of his head, Father. We're putting it behind the Father and see you and him, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, just, just to let us have a good time with you, Heavenly Father. I ask your name. Amen. 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 I have faith. I 
here. But I just want God to just, I need him to just wrap his arms around me and tell me everything is going to be okay. I don't know, I just, I'm just a real weird. But I'm not giving up because I know God has something for me. I know he does, you know, I just got to be still. Be still and know that he is God. You know, but I'm telling you, I'm talking to him like I'm talking to y'all right now. I'm like, God, help me. Help me, help me. You know? I don't know if anybody's ever felt this way, but I just feel like the world is on my shoulders. And it's heavy. It's heavy. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay because I'm going to keep looking up. And just keep saying, okay, God, you got this one too. You know? And He'll fill me up. He'll fill me up. Yes. I know he will. I just got to be patient enough to wait on him. So just keep me in your prayers, y'all, please, because this is a, a feeling I don't like. But I know he's there. I know he's there. I just got to be still.
Yeah, right here, Jay. Um, I just want to thank God this morning for waking me up this morning, for allowing me to make it on my way here to church this morning and be here. I also want to thank God because um, June 29th, of His grace, I celebrate nine years clean. All right. I'm so grateful. I'm really, truly so grateful because yes, I remember what it was like nine years ago. I wasn't pretty sure. I was doing everything, running with everybody, doing all the wrong things. But then God gave me some more life to change it. And for the Thank you. Amen.
three days new in this area, so I don't have a church. This is my first church. On behalf of the class of Ricky and First Lady, the trustees, deacons, deaconesses of, of this church, and the officers, I want to thank you uh, for coming today. And my thought for today is, um, I was I was in Sunday school this morning, which is a wonderful thing. Um, something really caught, stuck with me. It was called, um, when you earn your wages or blessings from God without belief or trust in God, it's like putting everything in a bag full of holes. It's going to fall right through. So sew up your bag with the love of God and his trust. And if you read, hey God, Chapter um, 1, 1 through 11, we get some more on the stand. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Anyway, I uh, do want to just reiterate uh, what our sister has already said for our welcome, our visitor this morning. We certainly thank God for your presence and uh, you have added something special to this morning's worship service and we're just trusting the Lord that we'll have something special out of the service uh, for you as well. And why don't you give yourself some love this morning? Come on. sacrifice their life, amen, so that we can have what we call this freedom of the experience today. So be careful, be safe out there, and celebrate uh, the independence day that God has given each and every one of us on tomorrow. Come on, let's give God another hand.
for the enemy has designed to kill, steal, and to destroy us, oh God. But as long as we keep our hands with you, as long as we keep our hearts and our minds set on you, you cannot take us away from you. So Lord, continue to chastise us and break down our hearts, oh God, to continue to be better, to continue to work to be better, Lord. That is what we want. We don't want to be sinful, Lord. We want to be sinless. So we ask you, Lord God, to go inside of our spirit and continue to purge us in the name of Jesus, that we will not waver in our faith. Lord, I ask you for this church house, Lord God, continue to bring unity and prayer, continue to carve out and root and root out the vision in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That Lord, the Holy Spirit will rule and reign here, but not our agenda, but your agenda be done in this house, so that the pews may be filled with your glory to know that you are the one that brought these people here. Yeah. And that when they come, that they do not leave the same, that they need change. Yeah. That those of us who are here, that we even need change, Lord, yeah. that they come into the church time and time again. The same way that we always come and never being changed. Lord, we need you to move by your spirit today, right now, in the name of Jesus, to change, to set free, and to deliver, and to wash away all unrighteousness from us, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, because you gave us another day that we did not have to see. For someone that we saw last week is not here this morning. But we are thankful that we are still here, we are still loving, that we are still breathing. Even in our condition, we thank you. We thank you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. We have heard our petition. We have heard our cry. We ask you, Lord God, that you would dispatch our angels that they would not be withheld. And that, Lord, that your angels of light will come again and fight for us in the name of Jesus. That our prayers are being heard in the name of Jesus. We ask you all these things in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Let's just give the Lord another one. Now we're going to get into the part of the service we all like so much. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Yeah. We're going to give one to the Lord because he's so free to give to us. Amen. Amen. Trustees, ushers, help us in this endeavor. We want to ask that we all stand and follow the instructions of our ushers.
Don't believe before the miracle happens. Don't believe before the miracle happens. Let us pray. Father God, it's a preaching moment. We're preaching is not easy, but it's made easy through your Holy Spirit. So hide behind the cross of Calvary, let all self be slain. Let Jesus reign. Let the words of my mouth and meditation in thy heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. These prayers I always pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't leave before the miracle happens. I sort of borrowed this subject. It is 
we have people, uh, we have the kind of people that know very little about tolerance mm -hmm. and delayed gratification mm -hmm. and patience yes. uh, and perseverance mm -hmm. or struggle. That's why we see so many one-hit wonders or overnight success or even instant lottery millionaires. And we fall for the strike it rich scheme because people are looking for a softer and easier way. But mm. organization has really crept really into the church where we see microwave pastors setting up microwave churches, preaching microwave sermons, producing microwave Christians. And when we think they can pray a microwave prayer to receive a microwave miracle, we're folks in a church that can't even wait on God. Can I get a witness, y'all? Well, I just thought by to tell you today that this race is not for uh, the swift or strong. It's really for those who can endure. Can I get a witness, y'all? Some, some, uh, some fortitude, some, some guts about yourself to where you want you can push through some things that the enemy has set up before you. you know, and one of the greatest tragedies that you can witness really in the church is someone giving up before the miracle happens because of their impatience. What a tragedy it is for someone to leave right before his or her breakthrough. What, what a tragedy it is for them to leave before God really has moved in their lives. Can I get a witness? And all of us really can find ourselves giving up and leaving before the miracle. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't know about you, but I'm going to stay with Jesus. Struggle or live a struggle with. 
made anyone feel sorry for him because the text reports that he had no man to put him in the water when the water was troubled. Now, that was Nor did his length of time give him seniority over others that were there because the text report was while I was coming another step down before me. Well, I believe, I believe that, that the writer mentions that certain man's length of time because if anyone there at the pool had the right to give up and to leave before the miracle would have been this certain man who has been struggling for 38 years. Now, love it somebody. Yet the writer reports that this certain man persevered and never failed, even though he could never make it in the water on his own. But this certain man was
who meet their felt needs. They need water, shelter, and food. Your help is The second level of Maslow's hungry needs, he will remind us that only that they need their felt needs met. And the truth of the matter is that's why Jesus always dealt with a person's felt needs first. Because you can't get to somebody's heart unless you get to their stomach. So the first level of Maslow's hierarchy needs is felt needs. The second level of Maslow's hierarchy needs is that, is that they need to feel safe. Yes. They have to feel secure. Oh, yes. uh -huh. There can't be a threat around them in the environment that they exist in. Y'all love somebody. Yes. The truth of the matter is, if you really look at the fact that with 911 here, when they flew the planes into those towers in New York, that helped somebody. Yeah. And all around that, and even down at the Pentagon, and even in the field in Pennsylvania, our, our security was breached. Yeah. And the truth of the people felt threatened for the very first time that lived in America. Yeah. And after that day, you couldn't find an empty seat in God's house.
first Baptist words, why don't you come? The invitation's for you. Why don't you come? It's one in the middle of the center aisles. If that's your case, why don't you come? Or if you want to lie, left, you're right. That needs to come this morning. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Everybody, everybody saved. Everybody satisfied. Amen. Amen. All right. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. As we transition into our communion service, we'll prepare to take up the Lord's sacraments. Christ that puts us in a right relationship and right decision 
or worthy enough to partake of these holy signs. He said, those who are guilty, those who partake of these elements unworthy, is guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. This has caused many to be weak and sickly among in many sleep. So in the time when we just do a moment of silent prayer, as God will get us of the sins we've cursed since last time we got here. Let us bow our heads.
For on the same night when Jesus was betrayed, after he had given thanks, he took the bread and broke it and said, Take each of them. This is my body, which is broken for you. Also, in the same manner, he took the cup, so saying, Drink it all with this is the cup of the testament of my blood. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we can show forth the Lord's death until he comes. In the end, the usher will come to the sanctuary, pick up and celebrate the cup. Thank you.